Alright, so welcome back to my let's play of Hogwarts Legacy. Um, yeah, no, I, I apologise that I didn't record anything last time, but that was because, well, last week I was a bit unwell last week, so I couldn't really record anything. So I do apologise that I couldn't really record anything last week, but I'm back now, so hopefully we should be able to get things back on track uh do, 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 do. so i definitely need to go back to the place where i was before i can't really go there just yet uh so how do i get back to the main place i tried it Do you think it's possible to spend time with someone? That's creepy, I don't like that. Ugh, what am I missing? Hello, I, I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello, I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find oh. me if you stumble on Okay, but how do I get back to the professor though? Because I am lost. I can't remember the last time Sebastian lost a duel. No, I don't want to do that. Need to remember how do I go back though? Is this the way? No, that's That's the greenhouse. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Okay, I'm getting a little bit more of the hang of it now. Adieu. 
This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Lumos. What are you doing down there? Oh, Off on another adventure, are something we? something else too. A, a dash of powder back be nothing. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Solve the puzzle of that empty frame. If you can find her. Where was she? Oh, she's up there. I just want to get my one, man. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Someone's in a someone's in a temper tantrum. A flying page must be around here somewhere. I thought you just saw it. But how do I get back to it? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Okay, so I'm just getting the hang of it at the moment. So I've I think I've just got the hang of this. Uh, I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, and I'm uh... I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Yes! Reparo! Very That's good. it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. 
That actually makes me happy, actually. I love that. I love Repero. Alright, so now I can go to Hogsmeade and I can get my wand! I can get my wand! So, uh, da -da 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 -da, let's just mark it on the map. Actually, oh, it's nearby. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that again. Uh, can I can I quick travel? Uh, uh no, okay, never mind. All right, so let's let's go and get my wand. Let's go to Hogsmeade to get my supplies. I'll get in trouble for this. No, 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 no. I want to get my wand. I don't think it's as to why that portrait was empty. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I once flew to Ipswich and back. And just carry on, do your own thing. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. Looking forward to it. <sighs> that was Diagon Alley that Ollivander was, was in, wasn't it? That his shop is in. It's not in Hogsmeade. Unless he moved it. I love that some of the characters just literally just pop down nowhere. Oh! Oh, who's this? Hello? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, love. Okay. Are you up and dressed? Uh, yeah, I'm up and dressed. Uh, yeah, I'm currently playing a video game. I'm recording right now. You're on speaker, so everyone can hear me on the phone to you. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I'm not live. Oh, okay. I'm not live, so okay. I I might edit it out. Yes, please do. Bye, speak to you later. Bye, bye, bye. Bye. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a better be in the village. She's lovely, the she of is. Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Same Quidditch is cancelled, so we can't actually play Quidditch.
Oh, can we run? Oh yeah, we can. So when I run, she runs. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade That's a good point to be honest. This time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Good, I hate snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Shut up. Uh, any more? That's a bit annoying. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard ah. that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. I love hippogriffs. Hypocrite. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I and why do they have it in a school then? That makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Oh, it's getting a bit funny. Hogsmeade. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Hmm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring... Well, it does Hogwarts rain a lot. We are in the UK. It. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you a might want glitchy. to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What huh? did Mr. Moon? Jimmy, guys, Dougley and Aerie and mm, terrifying. A bit glitchy. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. There we are, we're in Hogsmeade now. And here we are. 
It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. Yes, a new wand. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Right. I want to get my wand, so... Ollivanders. Ollivanders! Let's go and get my wand! Here it is. So, this is the entrance. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Looks nice. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um. We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. So I think this is the point where I get to customize my own wand. So let's see. Wait, what's this? So this bit is... Oh, that's just the design. So let's see. Curious indeed. Hmm, no. No, I don't like the look of that one. How Isn't intriguing. It? I think this one. Uh, Curious I... indeed. No. How intriguing. 
intriguing. Uh, actually, I think... What's this one? Yeah, that one looks nice. Curious indeed. Elm, yeah. Length. How intriguing. I'll go for... Curious indeed. I'll go for 12 and 3 quarter inches. How intriguing. Curious uh, indeed. How intriguing. I'll go for quite thick. Uh, dragon heart string. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Dragon heart string is quite good. Uh, elm, dragon heart string. Wh which one was the other? So. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. The fee. The verse of the phoenix. The feather of the phoenix that serves the queen. Ah! Phoenix feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Hmm. I'll probably go for Dragon Heart String. Okay, let's see my wand. Doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. What do you think? Another Got my one beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Well, that's it. I got my wand. Very cool. Okay, so next. Okay, so where am I? I'm at Ollivander's. So the items I'm gonna need. Uh, do, 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 do. I'll go and get my potion sticks. Welcome to J. Pippin's potions. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. 
When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Okay, so the recipes that I need. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I don't really need any clothes. Okay, so next. Uh, I'll go to the feather place later, so where's the other place I need to go to? Uh... Use for magic. Okay. So the use. So I've just gone to the potions. Okay, so it should be like a scroll of sorts. Oh, there it is. I do love the way that everyone's dressed though, like, I know it's based on the Victorian times, but I've always loved the way that the Victorians all dressed, despite it being in quite a, uh, poor and horrible environment. Ah, oh, this name's Thomas as well. An excellent name. An excellent name. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I An excellent you've night. Had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Yes, let's. Okay, so all these are free at the moment, the ones I need to get. 
if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I am interested, it's just I can't afford it at the moment. I can afford these, but like I said before, I don't need them. Thank you, Thomas. Let's check over here. Oh. Okay, let's see. Who's that? Oh, it's a skeleton. <laughs> oh, hold on. There we go. Okay, so next we need to go to the the, um, the magic nip. Is that what's called? Okay, so let's go to the magic. A vampire. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, hello there. Hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. It's got a good Timothy attitude. Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Knee. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. How'd you guess? Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. Thanks for that, buddy. We'll go back to Natty. All right, so we got everything. So, oh, I'm going the wrong way. So if we head back to Natty, and then we're going to head back to Hogwarts. Hogwarts. <laughs> Hogwarts. <laughs> uh, this, these. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Just nosing around where we have the chance. We have the time. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh shit, okay, okay, okay. What the hell? No, just keep... Okay. <laughs> no, I need to figure out how to do spells again. What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Ah, no, dodge. Oh, are you okay, love? Ah! What was that? I was trying to be seen as okay. I let him do more of it. I love it that I can do that. Ah! No! 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 Come on! Da, da, da. Da. Who invites trolls into this place, man? Ah! It's just because I'm a man, isn't it? Oh man, 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 man! No! Ah! Come on, nearly down, nearly down. There we go. Boom shakalaka! Dragon Heart String One. A second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement nerve like that the makings of an aura if you ask me if you are unharmed perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were of course officer singer officer singer and thank you again you're welcome now let's get out of here oh wait no i need to repair right a moment if you would I no. will see what happens. Lucky they didn't do more damage. So 
so I just need to fix everything first and then we can head back to Hogwarts. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. I told you things things would be better on my next days, won't they? <laughs> and again, this is only my second day still. Oh wait, no, this is my first day at Hogwarts. Repair. Okay, what else needs fixing? Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Okay, so one more left. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, no. Repair room. There we go. All better. Speak to the shopkeeper. Okay. Accio. Oh, no. No. Rebellion. We were just talking about you. Oh, hello. Why does this keep happening? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothia Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Don't think I could afford anything else. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just it's a date. Then. Uh, well, how do I get I even more battle worthy items? Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your There we go. Leisure. Thank you. All right, let's go and get some butterbeer. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Let me see if I can f go to settings and fix some things. No, no, no.
Uh, let's see how well this looks now. Good one to know. Oh no 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 no! That kind of looks awful. <laughs> okay, so. On that. Uh, yep. Oh, I think I've made things a bit slower. You said you could get to the child oh, when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Well, I mean, it looks better now. Now that I've got the settings all sorted. It's a treat to see I you, think. Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Thank you. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. The fuck? Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, man? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. We live in the UK, mate. We can drink beer forever. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Yes, that seems like a great time. Let's go back to the castle. Well, I mean, I've uh, ever since I've changed the settings, things definitely do seem a lot better. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. 
Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Okay. Alright, so going back to Hogwarts now, got my wand, and we've also fought a troll. Pretty good day, all things considering. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I think this is my second day. Quest completed, thank you. Right, well, um, I'm going to leave that off for now. We've had quite an, an eventful day today. So, um, yeah, so if you like the video, fantastic. If you didn't like the video, no worries. But uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, please uh, leave a comment, hit the notification bell, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye.